Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We're taking it a little step further today. Managed to get the old camera on uh, as I'm feeling ever so slightly more human than the day before. Still obviously full of cold, but uh, getting there, getting there. So hopefully I'm looking to be streaming today whilst you're watching this video. I'm hoping to go live again today. Um... <clears throat> Welcome to episode number 158. Uh, I am going to have all sorts of good stuff going on today. And I do hope you enjoy. If you do, I'd absolutely love to just see a thumbs up on this episode. Let's aim for 700 likes on this one. That would be amazing. And subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Cheers. So, um, I'm going to try and do this video with as, as, as few cuts as possible. Uh from coughing and spluttering but we start off by unlocking this merlin card uh who was just a level five or level 10 whatever it was <coughs> and um doesn't look the worst card certainly doesn't look the best but the main thing that we've unlocked at the very start of this episode is the 90 rated athenia um she looks unbelievable with the stats that she's got. Uh, for those of you that are wondering about this Serge Gnabry, I literally just put him in because it turned an 84 into an 87 with some slightly better stats and five-star skills for like four games of squad battles. Uh, and essentially, it was the last day of that free Evo, so I thought I might as well make something out of it, even if we use him as fodder. Uh, I did decide that for my Future Stars Glow Up Evo, I was going to go ahead and choose... Bissek, because, well, how could I choose anyone else? With the amount of ranting and raving I've been doing lately uh, about this card, uh, to, to get an even better version with pinged pass as well, uh, hell yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely doing that, and I, I have done that. So uh, we're working on it right now. 86 goes to 87 with some nice stats, and then we did need to actually go into a couple of games of Rivals. Um, it wasn't just able to be done via squad battles and stuff. So into Rivals we go. We're trying out our new 90-rated Athenia uh, and seeing how we go in a little bit of Div 6 Rivals. Um, into first game we go. I, I think I needed to play... I think it was like two or three games of Rivals, whatever it was. But essentially, uh, it went fairly well for me, as it normally does down here in this division. Uh, and I won't get all the way up to seven wins today, but I will carry it on. Uh, hopefully, in the stream that you're about to go and click on after you've watched this video. Uh, ideally, that'll be the when I'm getting the final Rivals wins. Uh, because it'll be, yeah, it'll be Wednesday, and I need to get that done before Thursday. My super sub, Okafor. Ends up coming on and scoring with one of his playstyle pluses, the uh, the acrobatic one or whatever it is. Uh, he's obviously good at crazy aerial like scissor kicks and stuff. Uh, so that's quite nice. He's obviously got the exact same playstyle pluses as what Athenia has got. Athenia, Athenia, Athena. I'm not sure how people are pronouncing it, but this I would imagine that that account that I've just come up against here, this this squad. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is someone that is just working their way through the divisions on a brand new RTG. Because it was just full of future stars stuff. I wonder if some people are, are just going like promo to promo and starting a new account to, to get some real enjoyment out of the game. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I do go 1-0 up. Get a penalty uh, to potentially go 2-0 up here and Eusebio sticks it away. And I have to say, both Okafor upgraded to 90 and Athenia uh, upgraded to... Uh, 90 have both really really impressed me uh she gets a goal using that playstyle plus as well the uh the scissor kick one or whatever it is uh she gets she gets a goal from that i'm three nil up thinking okay life is life is pretty good uh this will be the the last game that will get me the the bisec upgrade done davies then whips in across and look at that i'm not even holding like lt or anything there she just i just pressed the shoot button and she absolutely bicied it that's sick. If, if I can carry on getting stuff like that done with, with her and Okafor, then uh, I'm going to be loving both of them. Uh, and then we get a really nice goal from George Best. I think I actually red-timed the volley, but it still flew into the back of the net. So luck was definitely on my side in this game. 5-1 up. Like I said, absolutely loving life. Things couldn't be going much better uh, in this situation. Uh, we're just going to literally carry on trying to score some nice goals, trying to enjoy. Uh, and then we cut inside or actually whip one in from Claudia onto the head of Athenia. She obviously does have 
power header uh, or yeah power header as the other playstyle plus didn't expect her to actually win one though so that was that was nice just showing that you know these playstyle pluses having two of them is actually really really beneficial and uh, just before I made it 8-2 so that I could do the meme, he ends up quitting right at the end of the match. So that kind of sucked. But uh, so be it. We get a 7-2 victory. I would 7-2 be that person. Um, I'm still going to do the meme, even if it's fake and it doesn't make sense and it's just wrong. Uh, but anyway, yeah. A couple packs unlocked. An 80 times 5, I think we get for this one. We're 70 games in now to that objective. Or was it 60? I think it was 70. Either way. Uh, plus two Evo completed. Cost me 75,000 coins to get my Bissek up from 86 to 88. He's like a 90 rated centre back with Shadow in game. And he's got some absolutely wild stats. And now he's got pinged pass as well. Which can help me play out from the back nicely. Um, and yeah, I, I just think that that's a, such a solid replacement for my Virgil van Dijk. Uh, just to be to be using something different, you know, try to get as many two play style plus players into my squad as possible, just to have some squad rotation, uh, we're also going to aim to get, <clears throat> to get rid of Rio from the squad today, is not really the, the overall uh, way I feel about it, but because Rio's been doing so good for me the last couple of days um, that I, I kind of don't want to get rid of him. But at the same time, I want to freshen up the squad in that sense. So uh, we will be uh, getting ourselves a new centre-back, I'll say. Now, this was a very unexpected 81 double. 300,000 coin left back in 88 rated second or third in form Teo Hernandez. Uh, yeah, very, very good. That's, that's that's a difficult one because Alfonso Davies is absolutely unreal and I don't think this Tio Hernandez gets in ahead of him. But still a really nice, really nice inform to get. It's one of those ones that I'm going to... It's a bit like Salah. Probably not going to use it a whole bunch, but I'm going to be not willing to put it into an SBC unless it's like a really, really fantastic SBC and I'm desperate for the fodder and he needs to go in. So yeah, he'll probably just be chilling in the club for a few more weeks before I put him into anything. Might give him a little go though. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Ugh. Anyway, 82 times 20 time. We are going to get a future stars. Portuguese centre mid. So hopefully this is a Bernardo Silva double walkout situation. So gold Bernardo Silva and Bull. Ah, oh. not not the greatest of cards. Um. Four pretty decent 80 stats there, 87 rated, incisive pass plus, but only the one play style plus, of course, on this on this lower tier card. We also do get an 85 Trincao, an 86 Pedri, so a couple more sort of walkouts there with uh, Bernardo Silva as well. But I think for the amount of stuff you put into that SBC, it still never seems really that worth it to me, in all honesty. But with the duplicate... 88 rated card there. I've decided to pop it into an 85 plus player pick. See if we can get anything higher rated than that coming out of it. Obviously because we put that and an 84 rated squad in uh, to unlock this. Luckily we get his teammate Rodri. So an 89 uh, Rodri. I know the daily Luca is there. But of course I can't not take an 89 Rodri in that situation right. Uh, so we've done that. And now it's time to do I think 10 player picks. So I have done 10 of these already before, I think in yesterday's video, and they were absolutely terrible. Uh, so to get a walkout in our second pick there was a, a big dub. Uh, we, yeah, I, I literally hadn't hadn't seen a walkout out of these yet. So uh, to get that, and also like an inform, and uh, another walkout, this was uh, definitely what I would class as a good batch. Uh, 84 Martinez, <coughs> excuse me. 88 Osserman, lovely stuff, and the final pick of this batch is just an 83, but three walkouts and an inform, I class that as a mahusive dub, uh, and of course we could just put that duplicate 88 back into another 85 plus player pick, can we get anything out of this that's higher rated than the 88 that we put in? Uh, oh, just about, we could get ourselves, unfortunately a duplicate, Hagerberg, but um... I've got an idea that I would uh, uh, of what I want to do with this duplicate card, so we'll get onto that in a bit. Anyway, I finally just completed the other section of Serge Gnabry. Uh, so I've got a team of the year nominee looking 
87 Nabry with five star skills. Now, I don't really intend to use him, but it's an 87 for an SBC, or maybe I could pop it into something going forwards. Maybe we could chain it along the way uh, to get a really good card by team of the season or something. Who knows? And then uh, that was where I was going to, I was planning on ending the episode, uh, but then I edited it up and I was like, oh, it's like nine minutes, 10 minutes. That's not enough for an episode. So, what else could we do? I've got marquee matchups done, and uh, I decided, you know what, I've been eyeing up this this Fabio Cannavaro for a while now, since he came out a few days ago. I mean, I've been thinking, you know what, it interests me. It interests me quite a lot. So, with the high tier fodder that I've got in my club, we've decided that we are doing the Cannavaro SBC as a Rio replacement. Uh... <coughs> You might worry about the fact that he's only five foot nine, but he has got six foot five Bisek next to him, uh, and I'll be on two double playstyle plus high tier defender uh, centre backs. So I'm thinking that this is a good combo, little and large. Uh, someone that uh, they both got aerial plus actually. So even though uh, Cannavaro's five foot nine, he should, based on what I read on the playstyle plus, jump higher. And reach and uh, and have more accurate heading ability. So is that what it says? Let me have a little read. I'll read it to you. Come on, game. There we go. Uh, so he does, of course, have acrobatic plus. Performs volleys with significant accuracy. It has access to unique acrobatic volley animations. That's an odd one for a centre back. Uh, I wish they'd have put just anything else that's defending wise. Uh, that would have been better. But f uh, aerial plus. Performs even higher jumps and has greatly improved aerial physical presence. So even at five foot nine, I'm hoping that he kind of acts like a normal centre back in the air, just with the high jumping and stuff. Um, but I guess we'll see about that. Only time will tell, really. I fully committed to doing this entire SBC, um, and I had the stuff just about to complete the whole thing in one. Um, I really did have some some nice top tier fodder to get that 88 and 87 rated squads done, no problem. Uh, and of course, he is like 380k from scratch, so it's not the biggest, the most expensive SBC ever. Two tradable 85s there. I did do another little batch of uh, player picks, another 10. Again, just from the stuff in my club. Uh, to see, I had one 85 rated squad left, I think. Uh, and I thought, hey, well, why not? We'll, we'll have a little check, see if we can get anything here that will help me out here um, to go into the final squad. And I guess getting that, like, Grealish and stuff helps. A couple 84s. But, yeah, nothing really to write home about. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we, we actually get Grealish as the best player out of that entire little batch. Uh, but, yeah, some cards go in here. And I did, of course, save my uh, Bellingham because I needed a Real Madrid player. Uh, and I saved that and a Griezmann and stuff to get this final squad done. And we can welcome Fabio Cannavaro, future stars icon, to the club. Um, my first future stars icon on the RTG. And we're in week two of the promo, of course. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the club. He's got that footwiz kit on. Always helping us with the pack luck, getting a cool card like this. Of course, I'm only joking. Um, but yeah, 83 pace, 94 defending and 85 physical. Uh, I'm hoping that we've made a good decision here. We will be playing him next to a very large centre-back. So hopefully that helps to uh, get rid of any potential issues with the height situation. But I, th I seem to remember enjoying versions of Cannavaro in previous FIFAs. So I'm hoping I enjoy this one again. He's going to have to be very, very good to beat the likes of Virgil van Dijk and Rio Ferdinand, who have been rock solid for me. Um, but I'm loving the look of the squad right now. Uh, a, a nice a nice change-up uh, to add in Athenia, to add in Bissek, to add in Donnarumma, because he gets that strong link to Cannavaro, and he's had an upgrade already, of course. So, uh, yeah, things are looking fantastic. My friends... We have now come to the end of the episode. I haven't had to actually had to cut at all. Maybe a couple of coughs in there. But I'm seeing this as a positive, a massive W that we are now back to getting towards uh, decent health again. So the streams shall return. The videos shall return. All of that good stuff. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, can you do me a small favor? <clears throat> Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe as well to the channel if you're new.
Cheers. You can follow me on social media, including my Twitch and all of that good stuff uh, in the description below. Have a great rest of your day, like I said, and I'll catch you again tomorrow. Peace.